This industry-accredited travel site was in full swing right up until the last minute, still letting holidaymakers pay for flights just days before it collapsed. Now angry customers are demanding their money back. Like, why would you still take money from innocent people and then just disappear off the face of the earth? It was meant to be a trip of a lifetime, but it's just turned out to be a nightmare. Destroys your faith in human nature a bit. I think there is something amiss here. Um, it doesn't look good. They were meant to be dream trips around the world. We were booking our honeymoon. We're all uni students. We don't have this, you know, large amount of money. Now those dreams are shattered with no flights or bookings and two company directors of Fly365 who have shut up shop. I think it's outrageous that um, that there's potentially millions of dollars being lost. James Price and his partner Steve Summers booked return business class flights to Europe with Fly365, an online booking agent. We received a confirmation booking and we got all this information about you're all set to fly and everything. And then about three or four days later we realised that we didn't actually have any flight allocation from the airline. The pair was splurging on the trip. Steve was diagnosed with MS in January, so they wanted to enjoy what may be one of their last overseas adventures. So we decided that um, we would travel while, while we knew we could. But now they've been left with empty pockets and no flights after the booking company went into liquidation last week, wiping all traces of the business online. It's just so disappointing that people can, can act like that. It's just heartbreaking. Stress, more stress than I didn't need. Steve started a Facebook group for victims. Within days, it has more than 2,200 members who've all lost tens of thousands of dollars, some paying for flights just days before Fly365 went under. Which means that essentially for the last three or four weeks of their operation, they were just straight up stealing people's money. They had no intention of doing anything. University students Vincenzo Cesario and Gregory Malaris also feel ripped off. They spent $2,400 each on flights to Europe. I'm only a casual worker as well, so I've been saving up for this trip for about like a year now. The pair were booking accommodation for the trip when they went to confirm their flights with Fly365 and realised the website was down. We found out that the day before the company had gone into liquidation and they hadn't notified us at all. The pair now fear they won't get any money back. Just really wondering why, or what was the purpose of it, what was the, the reasoning, if it, if it was a scam, or at, at, least, at least let people know. If these people were accredited up until they were liquidating. Alex Sin has lost nearly $7,000 after booking his honeymoon through the platform. He paid with a debit card and is now battling with his bank for a refund. The couple had travel insurance, but it doesn't cover third parties. For the travel agent being a middleman, uh, there's no cover for that. Fly365 was selling tickets through well-known platform Skyscanner. The company was also accredited by the industry body ATAS, which endorses travel agents who have met strict criteria. Australian travellers, Quentin Long. I was totally surprised. This is an ATAS accredited travel agency and suddenly they closed doors within one day. No warnings, no nothing. They've got no conscience, have they? David and Linda Cox booked flights through Fly365 to Europe. When they went to select their seats for the flight, they realised the tickets had never been purchased. Obviously it's something not quite right there. The company directors were Mustafa Felizcock, who's based in Dubai, and Queenslander Scott Main, who's worked in the travel industry for years. I'd be very sceptical about any brands that you're not very familiar with. Scott Main was previously the general manager for Best Jet, which collapsed in 2018, owing more than $10 million. He created Fly365 in 2015, before it went into administration last Friday. He's also the co-founder of Jetstream Travel, which appears to still be operational, but they've removed any trace of Scott Main from their website. While there's no suggestion Scott Main was responsible for the collapse of Best Jet or Fly365, all attempts we made to contact him failed. Please check the number and try again. When Fly365 went bust, all phone lines were disconnected. 
and I think we need to get some of the uh, you know, corporate watchdogs involved here and I hope that they go to town and really investigate what's happened. Quinton says always pay with a credit card so you have some chance of getting money back through your bank. And the first rule has to be pay with a credit card. Do not pay cash, do not pay with a debit card, but always use a credit card. That's what's going to protect you now. The liquidator is now trying to freeze the company's bank accounts, but it's too early to say how many people will lose their money.